Please don't open this. Oh, I see. Terrifying. Go for it. <laughs> so I turned 30 yesterday and I thought I'd make this video about 30 things that I'm that I've learned and I'm glad I've learned um in my 30 years of life so hope you enjoy so the first thing I've learned when you feel bad all you really need is plant life so that is fresh air water nutrients and someone to care about you if you're a, if you're a house plant slash a person if you want to be happier, make space in your life for things that make you happy. Which sounds really stupid and obvious, but it's true. Like, I think a lot of the time I feel sad because I'm not actually doing things that make me happy. I'm just doing things that keep my life running in somewhat okay order. And the Osamity Sam has a really great video on this, so I'll probably insert into the video somewhere. So yeah, try and do things that make you happy. Know your values and plan your days around them, like... I think um, a lot of people don't think about their values and I'll put a little test in the description again so you can find out yours if you don't know them. But um, like one of my values is rapport, which is basically a fancy way of saying talking, which I really value as a person who is, I guess, introverted, but I like having interesting, deep conversations with people a lot. And I think before I would have ignored that and just thought, oh, it's like something I will get if I, if I happen to come across it. But now I can build my days around like, how can I try and optimise for having good conversations? So, that's another thing. Live your values. Another thing I learned is that good friends stick around through bad times and they don't make you feel shitty for it. <laughs> Which, again, sounds obvious, but no, like, I have a lot of friends, well, I had a lot of friends, who make you feel like, obligated to them for coming to see you in hospital or being your friend when they were when you were depressed. Like, people like that are not really good friends and you, should, you deserve better than that. There's no prize for hard work is another lesson I've learned. Like, um, I think a lot of people think, like, when I date with a girl who was like, um, <laughs> uh, my parents work very hard because their parents are rich. And it's like, my parents work hard too, but they're also not quite as rich as your parents. But um, I think a lot of people think that there's some magical scoreboard in the world that will address the, redress the balance eventually. And it's not true, sadly. And um, a lot of books that have um, helped me with this are 4,000 Weeks, I didn't do the thing today, and also, um, also laziness, laziness doesn't exist was the last book, and those have really helped me with my um, thinking about hard work and how it doesn't or does serve us. Another obvious sounding lesson: um, resting should be restorative. Like, just because you've been sleeping a lot and just feel tired doesn't mean that you need to sleep more. <laughs> and there's other types of rest. Another thing that I would say you should probably um, have a look at is a healthy mind platter. I have it on the ball behind me, but. Um, yeah, I'll have a link to that as well. And it's um, all different ways, things you should have in your day to have like a healthy life and uh, oh, a healthy mind, sorry. And I think it's been really helpful for me thinking about the ways that I do and don't look after myself. <laughs> so yeah, I'll link that in the description below. My next lesson is one I think I've heard best articulated on TikTok. I can't find the actual TikTok sadly, but um, if I can find it, I'll link it. Um, it goes, um, if the choice is between ending your life and ruining it, then ruin it. And I think people often estimate, overestimate how much ruining your life, quotation marks, will um, ruin your life. <laughs> like, I think there's always an after, as long as you're alive. So, don't worry, just do your thing you need to do to keep moving forward. Uh, for people who get anxiety, I think a good lesson is to send sexual anxiety to people that you care about. Like, I think I have a tendency to um, assume that the things that I'm worrying about are important, even though lots of time... <laughs> the things I worry about are not things that um, are actually going to affect me and things I don't worry about are things that are going to be more important like say not exercising ever it's probably going to affect me more than the ceiling falling in one day <laughs> so yeah talk to people you love about things that you care about that you worry about and see if they also think that's worth worrying about people often give the advice to surround yourself with um, good people and I think that is useful advice to a degree I think a lot of people find it difficult to like control who their friends are I think what you can control is if you surround yourself with shitty people. <laughs> like, it's much easier to let go of a person than it is to try and introduce new one into your life. And I think people should often have higher higher um, standards for who they surround themselves with. So, if they're shitty to you, let them go. As Wall Sanchez says, I'll only have you if you're sweet to them in solitude. On intentionality, I think it's important to have like a list of quotes or a vision board or maybe even a little voice clip or a video of like what your goals and intentions are, maybe for the year or you could do it for your life if you wanted to. And I think it's nice because then you know what you're aiming for and what 
you care about. Like, I've got my vision board on the thing behind me just because it's my desktop background. But um, I think, yeah, it helps you to know where you're going and it's like a nice fun reminder of like what you want out of life. If you're hungry, eat. Life is way too short to be uncomfortable for like long period of time, everything you can control. And the same is true for thirst and rest. Dress for you as much as possible. Like, I know that uniforms exist and I know that um, people and that judgments exist. So even if it's something like invisible, like your undies or socks or something fun like that, like dress for you, do something fun for you. Use the nice art supplies now, use the nice stationery now. Life is short, like what are you waiting for? <coughs> Sounds so ugly. <laughs> Tech isn't gonna save us sadly. Like I think people are waiting for the next revolution, revolutionary tech advance to save the planet, save us from starvation in other countries, save us from war, and, you know, I think it's people problems that is the main issue. It's not going to be the newest technology that's going to make everything down. So, try and invest your time in people. I know tech is important, like, I obviously work in tech, I care about tech, this channel is mostly about tech, so don't think I'm being down on it for no reason. <laughs> it's true. Uh, next step, if you can't sleep after 15 to 20 minutes, get up and do something that's like restful but not sleeping obviously. So like maybe read a book without like, not with a backlight or do some like tidying, meditate, do something like that. Like it will help and help you stop feeling horrible when you're just lying in bed tossing and turning. Make bad art. Like it can be art that you intend to be good that just turns out bad or it can be art that's intentionally bad but make bad art and don't worry about it. Like. The only way to get to good is to do bad, so just make it. Take regular breaks. There's lots of studies about how we can't um, work more than like three to four hours without it being like terrible concentration and like not good hours. So take more breaks and be kind to yourself about how much you're working. Next tip. If you care about political issues, try and act as locally as you can. Like don't attempt to fix a global issue <laughs> with a global action. Like. Local actions feel less overwhelming, they feel less intimidating, and they usually are more impactful in the immediate term, so try not local. If you want to tackle a huge project, break it into as many steps as feel possible. Like, it can be a tiny step ever, like, for this, it could be like, turn on the turn on the camera, and that would be a small enough step for you to be able to get started, so. Whatever it is, break it down more if it feels too big. Celebrate as much as possible, like celebrate small things, celebrate big life-changing events, celebrate the in-betweens, like life is short, you may as well make the most of it. Unless you're very, very, very like in the minority, your life really doesn't look like what you've done for yourself and that's completely okay, like it's normal. You can grieve what you didn't get and what you expected for yourself that you don't have now, but like enjoy what you got, like you're alive, you're here, make the most of it. I think an important lesson, especially online, is that um, you don't owe anyone authenticity. Like you don't owe them your status of sexuality, you don't owe them sexual mental health, you don't owe them anything that you don't want to tell them. It's like they're your secrets and if you want to tell them you can, but you don't have to. Next tip, remember this is water. This is from a um, David Foster Wallace um, speech. He's not like the best person, apparently, <laughs> in retrospect, but um, it's a story about how um, there's two fish and they're like going along in the water and um, another fish passes them and says, how's the water, boys? And the two fishes stand to each other and they go, what the hell's water? So, like, <laughs> even if you're surrounded by something, you can sometimes just forget the stuff of it. And I think that um, that applies a lot to, like, human society and how we often don't realise how great we have it, I think, or not even great sometimes, but how awe-inspiring and interesting the world can be and how we um, often... Yeah, we just forget that, and I think keeping a sense of all can be really important to being happy and healthy, so try to keep it if you can. So, um, next tip is that you should let yourself feel your feelings. Like, there's a Kimmy Gold Dawson song called The Competition, and there's a lyric in it that goes, I'm not good at feeling bad, and that's why I'm still here. And I think that it's really true. Like, I think the ability to allow yourself to feel bad feelings and feelings that you don't really want to be feeling is a really important one as an adult, and um, I think being able to regulate yourself and understand that it will pass and even if it doesn't like but these are livable feelings is really important um don't make fun of the way people look or speak attack their ideas you're not going to hurt the person who you're attacking most of the time you're going to hurt someone else who you care about especially if you do it online so 
Focus on what matters. Dream big, act small. Be uncompromising when it comes to things that don't fit your dreams. And if you think your dreams are solid rather than, you know, things that could change. But um, be flexible about the directions you could take. You never know where you're going to end up when you give things a try. So be open-minded. When it comes to doing big things, time's going to pass either way. So just try and try. <laughs> I know it's difficult because we get scared about time commitments and sunk cost fallacies and all this stuff. But you'll, you'll regret not trying more. So a common tip that people always talk about is seize the day. And seizing the day is annoying your dice. But the the full quote is seize the day thinking as little as possible of the future. And I think as possible is the important thing. Like don't quit load bearing um, opportunities, I guess. Like if you need a job to eat, <laughs> you don't have savings, then quit your job. Like try to think about what you need in order to get to where you're going. You can take small steps, it's fine. Accept your messiness in all its forms and decorate your house, whether that be your literal house or your, your home of your body. And if people don't like it, then don't be friends with them. Okay. Final point, fuck perfection. Like, your haters are going to make good points. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fumble. And that's okay. Like, that's life. And the messiness will be part of the tapestry in the end. You'll, you'll, you'll be happy that these things happened. <laughs> or at the very least, you won't mind. So try not to beat yourself up. Thanks so much for learning of me. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Goodbye, world.